Okay, so we, we, we have the same kind of uh, discussions really as Lloyd was um, sharing with yourselves uh, in, talk, in terms of how is our relationship with our father as a son. Some, some of us um, said that it was good that we had a wonderful relationship growing up there. You know, the experiences that they encountered were good. Uh, some of them, there were others that didn't have a father at all, and so didn't have a relationship with um, a father or such, but what, what they did was, through relations, had um, male role models that they sort of identified with, um, so that they could learn how to be a man, how to understand, to do certain things. One of the things about men is that men like to be doing things and, uh, and sometimes when you don't have anything pos positive to sort of hold out to, then you find yourself doing things that you shouldn't be doing. And uh, having the right kind of role models, one of the things I was saying, because um, uh, I was one of those that didn't have a father figure, but I did have um, someone that I could have dared to. And, and when I was growing up, he never used to swear. And I always knew him as that kind of person that held his own, but was very sort of like well-mannered. But when I got to be, as I would say, a man, I heard him swear for the first time, and uh, I was kind of like stepping back and all. You know, you know I'd never heard that before. Uh, and it sort of like knocked me back a little bit, but that was just that. But he was a good role model, teaching me how to do things with my hands, um, and, and just how to be a man in general. Um, we, we, we looked at, you know, the, the fact, is it important to have a role model, a male or role model? Uh, and, and in our group, I think that was a unanimous, that we all need to have a role model, um, in terms of a male role model in the home, because it helped us to find some kind of purpose, some kind of structure that we could use as we were growing up for our own children, being that kind of person that would be able to, to share, you know. Um, and, we, and, and we're not all coming out of uh, silver spoon kind of environments, but we're local working class people growing up and just trying to make things work. But the role models were definitely clear. And uh, there was a question about how um, is our relationship with our own children and, uh, you know, for, for us, it's sort of a mixed kind of uh, answer to that question because, you know, when you get into the teens, that, that teen area, you know, that's an area where you take to want to start finding yourself as a teenager and wanting to know who you are as a person. And so, a lot of times, you, you know, your children want to find their path. Uh, and sometimes they take a different turn to the way that you want them to go. But in general, in, in the group that I was in, um, the, it was a case of they started on a bit of a rocky road, but then found their way back because, you know, as uh, role models, as parents, as, as fathers, we stuck with them uh, and we continued to share the importance of. Uh, you know, doing positive things. So even though they may have gone through like rocky moments in their, in their growing up, they found that there was um, someone that they could relate to, to rely on, to fall back on, to, to, to find themselves, you know. So it was good. Had nobody been there, you know, I think that the answer would have been that they would have gone on a slippery slope and uh, lost their way. But, you know, because we stuck at it, you know, we didn't give up on them, they managed to find their way back. Yeah. Thank you for that.